So earlier in the course, you were provided examples of code that implemented um, hash maps, or actually it implemented a map. And the two um, library um, objects that we worked with were uh, number one was the hash map, and then the tree map. So in the examples done earlier um, in the course, you were shown how you could, in, uh, could implement um, this map functionality, where the primary goal of our maps was to simply put things in and then to be able to get things out. So you'll see these methods here where we would uh, go ahead and extract. Maybe if we were to put, for example, um, an individual in here, uh, Angelina and Jolie, get her social security number. Um, then we would put the entire student object, Angelina Jolie, that had been built before. Um, so we go ahead and put Angelina Jolie into some type of data structure. And then subsequently, we want to be able to get that particular individual out um, based on that unique identifier. So we were able to do um, simple puts and gets without really talking about the underlying implementation of either a hash map or a tree map in great detail. What we did is we used and developed a student object, SWC student object, and then we used that student object to um, kind of get familiar with the idea of a map. So there's the main that works with the implementation of a student object, but a student object really is uh, just information that contains age, social security number, first name, last name, and so forth. And then our main was uh, placed in there to show how we might use it in one particular context. And that, in this case, it's the context of a map. So now what I'd like to be able to do is talk with you about how we can implement our own simple map. So what I'd like to be able to do is take this code that we see here, maybe line nine, where you see the word tree map, um, right? We switched back and forth between tree maps and hash maps so that we could store students. I'd like to build our own simple kind of a linked list based um, map that we'll call list map. Um, and in this list map, I want to just be able to run this code that we see here the same way that we were able to do with hash map and tree map. So what does it take for us to build code that will allow us to store this information as a linked list? And so once we build this code um, that I'm going to call a list map, you'll see that we build this list map, we implement the puts and the gets, and then we're going to run essentially the same code. Uh, the same type of main where we, um, instead of a tree map or a hash map, now it's a list map, we do some puts and we do some gets. Um, and so we're able to model that same functionality. And then once we're done with that, we should be able to move then from the list map, which we'll have built up or built upon, uh, I think our knowledge of linked lists, we'll move over to how do we do that with a tree? How do we do that with a tree? So our list map that we build will just simply be um, two different objects, a key and a value plus a reference to the next item. But when we move over to a simple tree, that node will look a little bit different. It'll be a key and a value, but this time it's going to have a left and a right link. So instead of just a linear type of data structure where we proceed in one direction, we're going to have the option of moving in um, one of two directions. So let's get started with uh, building a list map.